When the second trailer for Andor came out, some fans started wondering about the man listed in the subtitles as Tay Colma. They speculated that he could be related to Finnis Valorum, the former Supreme Chancellor of the Republic who was voted out of office in The Phantom Menace. Some fans wondered if he would be Valorum himself. Like I said, he's not, his name is Tay Colma, but the questions being raised got me thinking about House Valorum and why including a member of the prestigious family could be a very fun idea. Because the Valorums were basically a political dynasty in both canon and Legends content. The canon novel Tarkin tells us that Tarsus Valorum was the first elected Supreme Chancellor after the fall of the Old Republic. Tarsus was a major character in the Legends Darth Bane books, which tell a kind of version of the reforming of the Republic as the new Sith Wars came to an end. It's said he was the first non-Jedi Supreme Chancellor elected to the office in about 400 years. Legends also mentions Tullius Valorum, Lake of Valorum, and Ixes Valorum, the latter of which was also elected Supreme Chancellor at some point. Star Wars legend sources say at least four Valorums held the office over the course of galactic history. So yeah, the Valorums were a big political deal, but as far as we know, their dynasty ended with Finnis Valorum after the vote of new confidence and the Phantom Menace removed him from power. He still lived on Coruscant and maintained a friendly relationship with the Jedi, specifically Yoda. Even though we know the older gentleman in the Andor trailer speaking quietly with Mon Mothma is not a Valorum, that doesn't mean a Valorum couldn't appear in the series. I don't think that'll happen, but I kind of wish it would. The Coruscant side of the series seems to be leaning heavily into the political thriller genre. Mon Mothma is going to need political allies, and a Valorum would be a fantastic enemy to Palpatine. Maybe Finnis Valorum's child or grandchild or niece or nephew or something. Someone who would know Palpatine manipulate his way into power and would be more personally motivated to stand against him. But it would also be a good way to explore how politics can get in the way of what's right. Mon Mothma is probably going to be a pillar of good in this series. I'm sure she'll go through moral challenges, but I expect she will be largely incorruptible. Giving her an ally like a Valorum, who works alongside her but is ultimately out for revenge, would provide for some tense storytelling. Someone Mothma couldn't fully trust because even even though their goals of taking down Palpatine are aligned, their hearts and their morality are not. I don't know, I'm just spitballing because I'm excited to dive into Andor. I think it's unlikely we will see the Valorums return in this series. Their family's status as a political dynasty would be a fun entry point into the Imperial Senate side of the story, but the series can still explore everything I just proposed with a completely new character. Maybe that shifty looking fellow from the trailer, I don't know. I find myself getting more hyped for everything happening on Coruscant so far. Cassian and the planet Ferrix, that all looks exciting and seems to be more driven by action scenes, but the quieter, political thriller genre is something we haven't seen as much of in Star Wars, and I think it'll be a great fit. But what do you think? What kind of political characters and machinations do you think we'll see in Andor? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel for all our Andor coverage, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.